Okay, this is what it looks like on the front porch. Those are the hardwoods. What I want to show you is the pump jack. And there's our setup. In the background you can see all the trees. This used to be our front yard. no place to park. Here is the pump jack. That is our well. And you can see the handle. I've got detached the handle. And I've got an old pump jack that came off a water mill or excuse me, a windmill that pumps water on a farm and I've rigged it up to my simple pump. That's the name of the hand pump and head that you see there. I date this pump jack somewhere around 1900 to 1920. It was made by the Butler Pump Company in Butler, Indiana. The hose you see going through a filter first and then goes to this fitting which is directly tied into our 30 gallon water tank inside. We then draw water by a 12 volt on demand RV pump. And what I really wanted to show you was this pump jack. Takes about 10 minutes to get 30 gallons. This thing that you see on top of the, uh, the barrels there, that's the cover, the winter cover, for when we're not using it. It goes right on top of the pump jack and protects it from the weather. Even though we have a roof here, the roof is kind of high and, and the rain does uh, get in close and I don't want it to get to the electric motor. There's my little 1000 watt generator that runs this just fine. Pick that up for 20 bucks. I'll show you a little bit more of the uh, tree cutting that was done here to uh, get the cabin out of danger of a falling tree. And I'll turn around here slowly if I can. And show you the pump house. Here's our solar panel up there. We have two 120 watt solar panels that feed two AGM batteries. You can see we got trees down all over the place. I'm going to take you inside now and show you the solar system that I've got. It's a Morning Star. Here's our cabin. Just walked in the front door. This is the kitchen and living room area.
That's our stove. I just made some coffee. And I don't know whether you can see it or not, but here's our water tank and it's being filled right now. And you can see I've got a valve that I can uh, suck the uh, antifreeze for winter. And I'll show you our running water here. Just like at home. That's an inverter. That's uh, an Ames. <clears throat> I think it's 1200 watt. 1250 watt inverter. I've got a Samlex too, but I don't want to leave it up here because we have been broken into. Here's my panel. Uh, we're, we're really cloudy right now and uh, I got 13 12.96 <clears throat> volts right now and there's our electrical outlets that we can use when we're hooked up to the generator but this really works well there's two AGM batteries on the floor that I'm not going to show you but that panel right there is 110 and 12 volt. You can see the 110 circuit breakers and on the left side running vertically is the fuses for the 12 volt system. This is a battery charger as well. I got this from an RV supply company. Came, uh, They use these in motor homes. So when I plug the generator into the outlet that's outside it'll fire up these 110 outlets that you see here and go through here and actually charge our batteries through this panel and charger system. You get another view of our pump jack working. And our trees. That's our cabin in the pump jack. Thanks for watching.